Hi guys and dolls, that girl's here again. So I'm not gonna do a book review, that's not my territory. Um, let's look at this as like a cinema coffee piece in person. So I picked up my book yesterday, it was on hold for me, The Contender, that came out yesterday. Uh, the Contender, so this is the jacket. The reason the jacket is, is not on the book is I don't do fingerprints on my things. Um, I like them to look as new as possible for as long as possible. So the first thing I did, um, I will say before I get into that, the 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 thing that impressed me first uh, when I when I saw the book was and surprised me was just through the promos that I've seen. I was under the impression it was going to be like like Forbidden Hollywood, like a coffee table um, type book. But I was, this is a hearty book. This is a thick, this is like the real deal. This is a thick book. Um, so I was impressed by that. The first thing I did once I got it was uh, look through, look through the photos, skim through the photos. I will say as a Marlon Brando fan or just as a, a film fan, a classic film fan in general, you're not going to see any photos that you haven't already seen. Um, so there's that, but... Last night, I went through the prologue. Let me tell you, he nails it and addresses issues right out of the bag, right up front. He's telling you what you're going to get and what you're not going to get. Like, you can go somewhere else for that. As a longtime Marlon Brando fan, I've often said that I don't do tabloid Brando. It's tabloid Brando that brought me to Marlon Brando, the person, and, the, and then the actor. Um, and he's telling you like what you're about to read is going to be straight from the source, not taken out of context, rewritten the way that the author sees fit. These are going to be actually taken from the source himself. Um, and he addresses issues that have surfaced um, the past few years and, and things that, that seem to have just followed Bud throughout his life, throughout his um, acting career life, you know, um, that headlines, um, things like that. For me so far, if the rest of the book is anything like the prologue, this is going to be like a quick read, not like I'm just going to skim through it, but a fluid read. I don't want it to end read. I mean, just reading the prologue last night, I didn't want it to end. And yet, you know, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't want to stop at the prologue, but it's like, so far, again, so far, for me, listen to me, Marlon, in book form. Like, outside of Brando's smile, this is the book you want to read. As a Marlon Brando fan, this is the book you want, maybe even non-Marlon Brando, not maybe, this is the book you want non-Marlon Brando fans to read. You want other people to read to get a definitive perspective on the person himself. Um, so that's just my quick, uh, a long time later, that's just my, my take on the book, what I've, what I've just read so far and kind of skimmed through so far. Um, maybe when I'm finished with it, I'll do some sort of an update um, and let you know how it goes from, from there. But so far, so good. So we'll let you know how it goes. I'll be in touch.